Okay, we're going to tie a dark Edson Tiger companion fly to the light Edson Tiger designed by Bill Edson. And these flies are named for their wing, not their body. Uh, hence the uh, dark brown causing this fly to be called the dark Edson Tiger. You can start with your hook on the rear, your thread on the rear portion of the hook and tie in some uh, tinsel. I've tied this in with the gold tinsel against the hook shank so that when I start wrapping uh, the gold will flip over to be exposed. You can see here as I start wrapping the silver rolls against the shank and the gold is out. And I have to admit I forgot to put my bobbin in a cradle and so I'm going to have to unwrap all these wraps that are accumulating on my hook shank. But I wrap down about four or five wraps and wrap back up. It's supposed to be a short tag. Get rid of those extra wraps I made. Now wrap that down and tie that off. And I've got uh, two hackle tips here that came off a the bottom portion of a streamer neck. And I'll use the pinch technique to trap them right on top. Roll that up and uh, wrap this down and get it smooth. I like to wet them just a little bit when I stroke them like that. And I'm going to trap some chenille. Uh, I've cleared the cotton core so that I could wrap the cotton core in. And I'm going to wrap back enough to clear the point of the hook and then bring my bobbin right up against the shank of the hook. And as I start wrapping, you can see the chenille will catch up with the bobbin and then start pushing the bobbin forward. And I can wrap all the way forward like this, pushing that bobbin ahead of the chenille. And when I arrive at my end point, there's my thread and bobbin and chenille all at the right place. Works very well. I'll trim that off. Neaten this area up and uh, we'll put a throat on this fly. This pattern calls for two uh, hackle tips, uh, just like the tail was two yellow hackle tips. This is two of the red hackle tips. You can get them off the lower portion of a streamer neck. That's the place I find the most of them. And I'll just pinch those in with a light wrap or two, and then uh, I can pull them in to get them the right length. I want them to be the gap or a little longer. And that's about right. So I'll make sure they're secure. Lift them up and trim those off. Wrap down those ends. And we're ready for the wing. And the wing of this fly is uh, taken off a yellow bucktail, but it's the brown from the back of a yellow bucktail. Measure this against the shank for my length. I'm going to trim off these ends and then tie this on using a pinch technique. I'm going to rotate so I'm looking right down in my tie-in point. I come up and do a pinch. Place that right on top of the hook shank. I roll back. I can see it didn't roll down on the side at all. So I'll go ahead and tightly wrap this uh, bud end section of the wing down. Check and see if it stayed on top and it did so I'll make sure that it's secure and smooth it up. And we can tie on the jungle cock eyes however I'm going to use tie right eyes a plastic eye that has been around forever these work very well, and on this particular fly and the uh, light Edson Tiger as well, uh, you use a very short portion of a jungle cock eye. And because you use such a short portion, I hate to use a good nail, uh, and these tie right eyes actually look pretty good. And I don't have the original small copper discs or brass discs that the original pattern called for. Uh, 
So the jungle cock eye itself would be a substitute, and I've gone just one more level down that substitution road and used these plastic eyes. But I find them to be quite durable, and they look fairly good. I've got them evened up. I just made light wraps around them so that I could adjust them. And having them where I want them, I'm going to hold them tightly to the shank of the hook. Make a few more tight wraps, trim off that tag end. And wrap those down. I'll wrap back up, trying to get a nice smooth head. Get my whip finish tool. And if one knot is good, two is better. And having done a pair of knots on there, I'll trim that off and put some head cement on this and call this fly good. And there you have it. There's a light, I mean, excuse me, a dark Edson Tiger tied using rotary fly tying techniques.